Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for attending tonight's meeting. If you've got a mobile phone, could you please keep it on in silence or off, please? For duration of this meeting, we appreciate that. Uh, notice of annual council meeting. You are in by summer to attend the annual council meeting of Ender's Town Council to be held in the main hall, Ender's Town Council Community Centre, Bunshaw Road, Ender's, from 7 pm on Thursday, the 12th of May, 2022, for the purpose of transaction the following business. Item number one. Chair, I'll start, and I was interested in the items that were recorded in both. Uh, the that would have proved it. I'll assume we have to get the next. Right, move on to item number one election of chairman. To elect a chairman of the council for the ensuing year. Have I any proposals, please? I propose John Middleton. And I have a showman for Sean Middleton. Councillor Sean Middleton. Have I any other amendments to that? I'm going to propose later for Councillor Jean Eccles. I'll second that. Can I have a show, please? So there's seven for Sean Middleton, seven votes for Councillor Jean Eccles. The chairman has the casting vote, so the casting vote is that Jean Eccles will be chair of this council for the ensuing year. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, so thank you ladies and gentlemen uh, for attending this meeting. Um, I'd just like to thank uh, Councillor Kenyon for his three years in uh, chairmanship. And we're just going to move straight on then now to item two, declaration, uh, sorry, to receive the chairman's declaration acceptance of office. The chairman to sign his uh, declaration of acceptance of office in the ensuing year. Yeah. 
Minuted, please. Uh, and the reason that I want this minuted is because in the last meetings, two meetings, that you will be approving the minutes of, uh, the information that I was given on both occasions now turns out was the incorrect information. So, sorry to have to keep going over this but in my eyes, we want a truthful answer, not a fabricated answer that fits the narrative. So on the 24th of March, I asked about an invoice regarding gala tents, which is for the marquee, about the installation. Did that include, was that included in the costs? I was told by the previous chairperson that it was done by in-house by staff obviously on the 27th of April it came to light <coughs> that there was an invoice in the accounts showing for installation by a contractor Mr Kenyon in the meeting said again that it was done in-house due to the fact that the contractor turned up late and he actually helped with the installation. Mr Draper asked me to send in the information to him, which I did. We've had correspondence backwards and forwards because I wasn't getting the correct information. It now transpires that Mr. Kenyon has said to Mr. Draper that it was done by the contractor, but with the assistance of in-house staff and himself. So what I'm asking is, what is the truth? Because whenever I ask a question, in these meetings, I'm getting fabricated answers. 
A little bit. A little bit like when I asked about the carpets removed from your property, and people actually saw them being burnt. Mr. Draper then came back and said, "No, they weren't burnt. They were actually in the skip, and that he had physically been down and seen them." So my answer to Mr. Draper was, if he'd seen the carpets in the skip, why didn't he have them removed and put back on your property for you to dispose of them like everybody else would have had to do? So my question is, moving forward, now that you're the new chairperson, can we actually have truthful answers no. and not fabricated <coughs> to fit the narrative. Excuse me, while I'm having a asking a question, if you don't want to listen, can you read the bottom of the question? Excuse me, when you've finished, one speak at a time, please, and come through the chair. Thank you. If I answer this first question, Mr Chair, I'm representing at the back not to heckle people. I, I've just said come through the chair. Yeah. That applies to everybody. It's slightly different to coming through the chair because you're heckling other people that like that question. I'd like, I'd like to answer that if I can. I think what we from memory, what I said to you were, because we're going back to 2019, uh, our lads erected all field work and most of that tent. The contractor did turn up, but he turned up late about one o'clock. Obviously, we had to pack in about four or five o'clock. But he did help uh, put the sheets on because we wouldn't we would be able to put them on because there was a certain way that you had to do it. And then he came back the next day just to check everything and show him how to put ties in. So he was there. He also came on site, if I'm if the memory's perfectly right. But it was taken down first time just to, to supervise on folding up and putting away, which they did. So yeah, he was late getting there, but I did tell you they were on site and he had put covers on. He, he didn't, didn't he, he didn't, didn't on the twenty fourth you didn't. You, you said outright yeah. it was done in house. Yes, it On the 27th house. of April, you did actually say that he turned up late around two or three o'clock. So again, what you, obviously yeah, you said that you were- What I'm saying to you is he didn't actually put the steel work up, the council lad <coughs> put the steel work up. Okay, he put the then. covers on, he put the covers on, and I'll put the covers on until the right finishing off of it. So why have we put, why have we paid the full amount to the contractor then? We charged three hundred pounds, and that that figure, I believe, when when it was purchased, was paid prior to coming out. No, no, it wasn't. Well, well the other thing is, is, what I well, want. To well, I don't pay checks. I mean, I don't pay checks, so you're best for me. Yeah, well, that, well that's, that's, that's the other thing that I've actually asked Mr. Draper, and he hasn't come back to me. I've asked. Normal businesses have a visitor's book where contractors sign in and out of. Mr Draper hasn't come back to me to say if there is a visitor's book and whether I can view it. That particular day, he never stopped there either. Whatever they did, the invoice council for it and council were advised to pay it. Well, what, what, to be honest with you, uh, without his help, that, that wouldn't have got finished that day. Now, is there any more yes, questions? Yes, yeah, I've actually well, got another. I often say she's work, at work at. So, well, Mr. Dra yeah. Mr. Draper, can you can you answer that about the visitors' book, or are you going to actually correspond back to I'll me? I'll correspond. It's only a couple of days, hasn't it? Right. Okay. Right. And the next question is <coughs> the question. item 16, which is the as asset register, <coughs> which again I brought up in the 24th of March meeting about when would it be published, and I also said it needed to be 
in more detail. Mr Draper actually said to me, well, he wouldn't itemise everything because he couldn't itemise bottles of water. Can I just actually point out an as asset register isn't your stock. That's called stock, not assets. So can the asset register be done in a more professional way with more in-depth detail, please? Yeah. Thank you. So, is there any more questions? Can we have your name and, and uh, yes, sir? Um, uh, I was just reverting back to uh, this, what this lady has. Uh, this, to Mr Kenyon, uh, these council lads, what you said, erected this steelwork, have they got any certificates to say they're allowed to do it, yes or no? If they haven't, you are breaking the law. They don't need them. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. We can't, can't, I've just been informed, we cannot um, um, discuss council staff. Right, so I've just asked a question about the certificate of erecting steelwork. If they haven't got one, they are not allowed to do it. And he is breaking the law. One way or another, he's breaking the law. Okay. I'll refer you to Alfred and say, give it to Kenny. Because you're not such a rubbish man. Down, I'm going to have you removed from this. All right, I'll sit down. Here. Right, is there any more questions, please? Right, no. So we'll move on. Uh, item 8, uh, Chairman's Allowance. To be clear that the amount of the Chairman's Allowance presented in the Session 15 Local Government Act 1972. Mr. Vice Chairman, the current allowance is £2,000. You've got to the council tonight, but you'll refuse that or amend it. It's £2,000. It's £2,000 at the moment, but should the council, the council can give you that, and they can give you nothing, or half that, should the council, but you should propose it. Yeah, at the moment, it's £2,000. So it's you who's responsible for that, Mr. Councillor? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. The money ain't getting... Yeah, yeah. I'm going to, yeah. 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 Is there anybody against that? I can see one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's carried, yeah. Thank you for that. Um, we'll move on to item nine, committee structure and terms of reference. To confirm or otherwise determine the council's committee structure and the according respective terms of reference. Yeah, there are still the three standing committees, Madam Chair, uh, if the need that the uh, percentage of two remain. Uh, are they all in favour of that, but it remains the same? Yeah. Uh, item 10, uh, committee membership to appoint members to serve on committees. Currently, Madam Chair, there, are, uh, um, there has to be a minimum of three councillors and a maximum of 14 on each committee. So it is a proposal uh, between those. Uh, I hope I'm in order by saying that Norman Council Mitchell can usually attend committee meetings, so the standard practice would be to um, have all members apart from me. If I'm incorrect, then please do Council Mitchell. Are we all in favour? Do you want to say 
Item 11, uh, calendaring meetings to agree dates, times, venues and meetings uh, for the ensuing year. Are we having the same as previous years? Yeah. yeah. Item 12, financial regulations to review and adopt the council's financial regulations. Okay. Item 13. Sorry, did we have, so it, it's not changed, so I was going to vote the same. Yeah. Well, that one, um, financial regulation, but we've, what is it? Read it all out. Yes, um, item 13, standing orders and code of conduct to review and adopt the council's standing orders and the code of conduct. Can we have a show to say the same? Item 14, data protection, general data protection regulations, GDPR, to review and adopt the council's data protection, GDPR policies. We need reviewing again then. Item 15 policies to review and adopt all other policies, i.e. equal opportunities, complaints, media, staff handbook, whistleblowing and recording of the council meetings. Can we have a show of hands to say the same? Uh, 16 asset register to review and adopt the council's asset register. Yeah. Item 17 uh, representatives on the outside bodies to appoint two voting representatives to the Yorkshire Old Council Association. Does anybody want to this? Do you need two members? It's currently yourself and Council West and the Manager. Yeah. yeah. Uh, is there anybody else that wants to? <coughs> so, um, do I'm going to nominate Maxine? No, I don't want to join it. I'm nominating Maxine. Right. Uh, so, I'm less willing to Maxine. Maxine. Uh, Maxine. So, she talks it off. Uh, 18 general power of competence to confirm the council's eligibility. eligibility. To the general power of competence. Yeah. Uh, item 19 legal advisors solicitors to appoint legal advisors solicitors for the council in respect of their planning and general legal matters and human resources. I think these need looking at. I think these need reviewing. Definitely need reviewing. <coughs> Right, so oh, can we have? Um, yeah, have we got a second? So <laughs> unbelievable, they've yeah. lost everything. <laughs> so uh, can we have a show of hands on that then to stay the same for the same? So needs reviewing. Right. Um, have we got any other proposals then? Yeah. The vote again. The vote again. So yeah. Yeah. Definitely review. Madam Chair, can I just clarify with the still about the UK disclosed? So there's some ongoing cases that I'll meet it. Is okay with that? Yes, I'll just do it to you. Item 20, town council meetings to approve the respective minutes of the council meetings held on 24th of March. 2022, the 7th of April 2022, and, and the extraordinary council meetings held on 14th and 27th of April 2022, as detailed in Minute Book 7. 
can you ever move? Can I can I just step back later? You know in the minutes what, what you mentioned? Yes. In this particular case in minutes that I've taken that we, you haven't produced the minutes. It was on the 24th of March and the 27th of April, which is what you're actually yeah. looking to approve. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and on the video, Mr. Kenyon, you actually do say that it was done in house. You, you actually said that. No, you said he wasn't there. What, what I suggest you do is look at the video and you can see it for yourself. Well, we're going to vote on it anyway, so um, 
Are we all in the same mindset? Yeah. Because I've got the motion, the motion is to have a can you come yeah, to the actual motion is that he wants to sell them. If you want an amendment to that motion, but we need to vote it, sir. So we've got showing five to work front. Well, no, you're not. I'm talking about is the motion is to sell it. Do we agree to sell it? Then we get prices. Without sitting and selling it on each other. Yeah. Well, like we needed a business case before we got a lift, before we did the Venger boys. Fuck's sake. It's been proposed to sell them and get a smaller, smaller machine. So can we first vote on that and see if there's any amendments we can vote on that? No.
Thank you. 
But they don't have your money in Fitzwilliam. Yeah, they want one in between Fitzwilliam and Bloodfart. Yep. Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 Um, obviously, 1800 uh, meters. So we'll leave that where you are, and then uh, yeah. So we've all proved that anyway. Sorry, just somebody that's watching the live stream has just said, um, could we have the defibrillator at the ping? Whatever that is. Just, just saying. One of a resident's yeah. asking. So. Uh, and somebody else is suggesting the learning and community centre. So that'd be about the middle. Yeah, we do have one at uh, the cafe bar, so I think that's I think that's more better. Yeah. Um, item twenty six, council chamber photographs of past chairman to consider the provision of framed photographs in the council chamber for our past chairman. Yeah, would you like me to speak? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Well, yeah. Well, I am newly elected. I ha I was the one that actually put the uh, plans out there that were happening up Highfield Road because nobody else did. And it was shared all over and people took my Facebook post and shared it everywhere. I've actually launched comments. Have you all launched comments on the uh, site? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, every single one of you. No. 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 Right. Well, I would ask you all, councillors, to put your comments on that site because we need every single one of you to object. Now, the objection is to it being taken out and put into the plan. The next thing will be planning permission if that would go forward. And again, you do need to object to planning as a town council, but also as individual councillors, as I will be doing. And I will be supporting every resident against any planning that encroaches on our green spaces. So you all need to, too. Thank you. I didn't speak your I didn't say you did. If you look at mine, it's a bit um, illiterate, for want of a better word. So if I pinched it, I'll put the illiteracy down to you. I didn't say you Thank did. You. I didn't say that. 
I didn't share. Do you know what I mean? Um, I'm scared. Yeah, are you talking to me? Yeah. And I think that's what you've done. I it's Willis said that, though, isn't it? Because it's only one vote, then. It's only one thing. Well, I did manage to put one. I did mention it on the last one, as Councillor Wilson said. I did say you need to get a long planning at Wakefield for four years. And you have every, every like um, uh, Melanie Jones has just said, that every, you, you don't do it collectively in petitions because it's classed as yeah. one vote. So I did mention that, and that's why it got mentioned again. So if that's what it takes to do, that's what we'll do. Yes. So can I just ask you, just actually said you've got to do them individually. So why have you done it through the town council? Because we the clip, the clip, but that will be just, but that will be just classed as one. It's closed now. Yeah. I don't mind. You never know. I, I, I think it's a bit too much. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
you know, the one, one of the things that we're going to mention was actually getting our district councils here, especially a, a, especially at a full council meeting, you know, to see what you can get me to that. Yeah, I'm that in. We need to see our council. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I know you are, but mm -hmm. we have two others, mm -hmm. and I think it would, it, be, it would be nice to get us all involved as well. Mm -hmm. I know you just said that, and that's great, and that's the first because yeah. not many do. Um, yeah, well, there's the on about to land to make pictures for kids, football pictures, big or small. There's land at Fitzwilliam. You know, it's been told that the council. Sorry, well, sorry, Gina. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Come on, now. Oh, you can call me anything you want. Yeah. <laughs> you'll be you'll be polite to a lot of people. We've got yeah. land at Fitzwilliam. Well, we've got land at Kinsley. <coughs> we've got land every. But if you do it properly, you can split it between the older ones and the younger ones. If you do it, you, <coughs> they don't all have to go on on the same day. You know, and if you do it right, it's. Um, <coughs> It, it'll work out right, but nobody will listen in. Nobody's listened. The council hasn't listened to us. Right. Uh, yeah, um, I asked Alan if he'd, uh, oh, the council would uh, write a letter of thanks to Mr. Rowick for offering uh, facilities for children from, you know, from areas play yeah. football, like, you know, and it might as well say a lot as well. Yeah, yeah. Make yeah, yeah, also, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and obviously, uh, and obviously, yeah. Kim, as well. Oh, is that an extra gender? Oh, right. Jean, Jean, can I just say, yeah. <coughs> it's a pity that people weren't saying that about 12 or 13 years ago when we got a Oh, my God, can we move forward next week? Can you let him speak, please? Can we move forward next week? No, we can't. We haven't said anything yet. It's a pity that 12 or 13 years ago that people weren't saying that. And I'm saying, I hear to say, yes, we need this support for something. Why did you say that 12 or 13 years we ago? We were doing it. We were. There were a thousand people marched down there. We were doing it. And just ignored. Yeah. No, I... I were that. Yeah, but, as, and the other thing, right, the rank hypocrisy of things that I see now, I cannot believe it. As regards now, you know, the LP21, there's been a lynch mob up here for the last how many, how many weeks, <laughs> etc. And, and, and the thing is, as regards that LP21, in 2017, Right. The town council was made aware that the proposals were there to build to the east of, of Wakefield Road for the Hensley. Now, where do you think they were going to go? What, it's going to be on the church? What, it's going to be on the LF Park? What, it's going to be on, on the college? Or what, it's going to be in the clouds? The only place it could have been was where they're proposing it to be now. And as regards the rank hypocrisy, as regards Wakefield, they've not done the job. You've got a situation where the chair of planning, right? Has, has done a lot of looking and disappeared, and the district councillors as well. And now they've got the hypocrisy to turn up, and they say it's much needed housing when it were down here, and yet they want sports facilities up there. Can, can I come back on that? Can I just ask one question? Yeah. <laughs> my my you question. Say that when other people didn't ask can I come in, chair? Yes. The question is no, why are you in. all a bunch of hypocrites? Oh, can I come in, please? Can I come in, Cal Chair? No, can I come in? Please, may I come in, Chair? Thank you. I was elected last Thursday. Yeah? Yeah. And I'm here. Why weren't you at the meeting in the night? Because I was in training. Well, None about sports facilities and everything else for young. What about schools for young? Mm -hmm. Never mind taking green belt and everything. Put three schools at back at Woodlands. The summer, but do it for community and infrastructure, not for housing development, so you can have free set payers money in council tax. We can have as many fields as we want, but without schools to educate kids, what's the point? Well, there's no money in schools, is there? There's no money well, in schools for them. But that's uh, what we need. We need some uh, infrastructure yeah, in village yeah, I, before I mean, we look at football pictures or all else. To do with the planning and, and what's happening in area, it's ridiculous. We've got Melanie Jones here. I'm sure she's going to take it back. She's been taking notes. 
and I'm sure that something will be done about it. Mm -hmm. We need to get the other councillors as well on board. <coughs> right, we're going to move on now to um, 29 Hensworth Water Park Fun Fair to consider a request to have a fun fair at the park during the August bank holiday weekend. <laughs> Where's this come from? I mean, so we've had an inquiry about it then. Um, so what do people think about that? We cannot, obviously. Can I just ask, this is the same company who just while the Queen set it all, said yes, they would do one fair, and then last minute says, no, we wouldn't do one fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's <laughs> It's trying. It's as simple as that. Right. Well, I've had a conversation with you about this one already. You're saying that the, the fair was cancelled when we cancelled the Venga Boys. Would that be correct? After we cancelled the Venga Boys, there was a motion brought to the meeting where that gentleman asked if he could have a, a, a fair on that ground on that <coughs> same day. Now, either you're misunderstanding or you're trying to gaslight. But please stop repeating things that are not true. Right, can we, right. Mm -hmm. well, can we have, can we have a response now? Right. 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 It were already booked so somewhere else. So why did we ask for that meeting? So why did we ask to put a fair on them that ground? Because I to know. if if this council had just cancelled part of some festival and oh, kept him on and others, we're still we're still been able to have him. Well, the fact is that you can't do it, and we and we is we we, can, we couldn't do that. We can do this now. So. So where were we supposed to put this? Uh, well, this is what we're saying. Alan's just said. That car park is used for all this stuff. Like and it can't go in the on the car park in the park because no. that's the car park. So correct me if I'm wrong, so several years ago when there was some land that was redone and correctly so in all the boats for, wasn't part of the overall level in the country and then we all left the council use it. No, we've got that part of the Yeah. It was agreed for the uh, Venga Boys, and obviously, oh, well, you don't put Venga Boys on the anymore. No. <laughs> 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 you're not listening to me, are you? You just want to jump in to make things worse. No, well, can you just listen to me response then? We agreed for any special occasions. That's what we agreed to, and I mentioned the Venga Boys because that was the priority. Then the seaside event, bonfire, and so on. And Why that's what we're mentioning. I think the bonfire is quite a special event. Yeah. All the span holiday. And, I, and I, think, yeah. I think people, councillors, seem to forget as well that the last um, fair we had on the. Oh, yeah, and it was brilliant. Um, yeah, um, and. Thank you for it. And the I like it with it. And well, if you did, then thank you. But I can't see. I didn't see anybody else saying anything. But that's not the point. It's not about that for us. But we, the money that was that the council originally going to get for the Oldsville Park car park that they couldn't make because it was too soggy and everything. Obviously, they they did come to us and we said yes. And we mentioned at the meeting that that money would stay at the council. So that was £800. Pounds. Also, let me just say as well that when they had the bonfire, because there's many rumours going around on Facebook and others, that the money that were taken at that car park was put in the council, coffer, uh, the council coffers for the community. Not, it wasn't charged at £5 a piece in the Ethel's coffers 
on that because in previous meetings it isn't it hasn't been 800 pound being taken it was it wasn't four, 800 pound you've just taken. said you've just said, said 280. no you didn't you said 800 you said you did you did it's on tape it's 800 i apologize i apologize it was 800 pounds for the fair and then on bonfire night the the cars paid a pound to park and it went to the council. That's a, it's a thousand and eighty pounds into the council. <laughs> Despite what everybody's been saying about we are going to move on. Um, well, we're not going to move on because we need to decide whether this fun fair is going to go ahead or not. Well, I'm opening it to pamphlism to see what they say. What's your recommendation on? That time of year, the open public car park is needed because it's packed. <coughs> you know, other times of the year when you have the fair, obviously it's too wet up there and less busy. Um, so it's, it's needed to be on the public car park, really, but it's up to you. Then, yeah. mm -hmm. So you're recommending that we can't really accommodate it? Not there, no, because if you have it there, that's the other more car park on, on probably the biggest weekend of the year. And it gets busy enough as it is. Mm. If you have the fair, they take that car park, the group park will be doubly bad. Yeah. 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 So I'm going to all vote on that. Uh, Nobody wants a gentleman there. <laughs> and the dogs have not been asked if they've been doing mm. their car park. Mm. Well, they have done it before, but then again, it's bank holiday, isn't it? So they, again, they might be. Well, they're not often they're not they're they're not they're not So, we can we, 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 so we have to do it. 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 And to authorise the respect, respective responses accordingly. Well, we're going to go on to the topic of the topic. Right. Um, item 31, exclusive presence for putting up members of the public. Item 31, exclusive presence for the public.